Hi everyone, welcome back to part 5 of the Book One Cozy's Club chapter by chapter for Guidebook to Murder, the first book in the Tourist Trap Mystery series by Lynn Cahoon. I'm Dai, and this is my audio-only reading vlog for this book. Today, I will be reading chapters 17 through 21 and sharing my thoughts with you along the way. Due to the nature of this reading vlog, there will be spoilers, so if you haven't read these chapters yet, I suggest that you not listen to this recording until you have. If you would prefer to hear my general thoughts on this book in its entirety, keep an eye out for my Book One Cozy's Club Series First Impressions video, which will be posted soon. So how is everybody doing this evening? I am doing... Okay. <laughs> I feel like that's all I've said this last week. Um, normally I tell you I'm good, but it has been a stressful week. I told you last night that... I was going to be the only one working in my office today, so I had to take care of everything, and that was really, really stressful. So I'm glad that the day is over, <laughs> and I am looking forward to winding down um, with this book, finishing this book, finding out where the story goes and how everything is going to end up, and working a little bit on my dad's socks. So... Yeah, it's been a really enjoyable experience listening to the audiobook this time around, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how this all ends. So I am going to go ahead and dive into chapter 17 right now. We do have a little bit more as far as pages this time around, just because I didn't want to have an extra day just for one chapter. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a longer listen this evening, but I am looking forward to it. So like I said, I'm going to jump into chapter 17 right now, and I will be back with you in a bit. So I just finished the book. I thought that was really good. I thought everything was very logical. I kind of had an idea of who the culprit was just because I had a hunch. Um, that's all I'm going to say on that because I don't want to give anything away. But you know what I mean if you were reading along with me. So yeah, everything culminated logically. Um, I'm glad that things are finally set straight between Jill and Greg. I figured, obviously, something was up with that. I was correct in my thought um, from last night about Sherry and how their her relationship with Greg had soured. Um, <laughs> I thought that Jill was a numbnut for stepping out of the house again once she was told for the second time to stay inside not only by Greg but by her aunt and then she got I guess what you would say she deserved for not listening um, but yeah there were a couple times during this entire book where I was like what are you doing Jill and I'm sure you probably felt the same way as well. Though, even though sometimes the way she d did things bothered me, I still really enjoyed this book. And I'll definitely be continuing to the next one. I'm looking forward to seeing how this series goes. I'm hoping to have more time in her book ha bookstore with the coffee shop inside and maybe getting a little bit more of that business aspect. I'm looking forward to spending more time with these characters. And yeah, so that's pretty much all of my thoughts on this book. I really enjoyed it and I enjoyed listening to the audiobook. I thought the narrator did a good job and I enjoyed 
listening to her narration. I am just about done with the leg of my dad's sock, so that is great as well. So that would put me about, I would say, a third of the way done with that. So, yeah, really great all the way around, and I'm looking forward to the next one. So before I let you go, I just want to let you know what the plans are for December. So traditionally, with Book One Cozy's Club, we have our normal first in a series co Christmas cozy mystery and then we have what is called book one cozy's club bonus selections which are continuing um, books in previous book one cozy's club Christmas series that we have read so the book one cozy's club selection the one that I will be doing a chapter by chapter for in December will be Mrs. Claus and the Santa Land Slayings by Liz Ireland. This is the first book in the Mrs. Claus mystery series. I just recently found out about this one and obviously it involves Mrs. Claus as our amateur sleuth. So I'm really looking forward to jumping into this one. I have bought myself a physical copy but I have noticed that it is also available through Hoopla so if your library offers Hoopla, definitely check to see if it's available for you. For the Book One Cozy's Club bonus selections, those are <laughs> quite plentiful this year. Now Book One Cozy's Club bonuses I don't do chapter by chapters for, but I will be planning to hopefully <laughs> read all of these next selections during the month. So if you are interested in reading any of these next books along with me, definitely let me know. We can chat about them in the Mystery Madness Goodreads group or the March Mystery Madness Discord. I would probably be prefer the Discord just because it's so much easier to have discussions on that platform. Um, and we could break down the books... Um, for a one week read so yeah definitely let me know if you're interested in reading along with me any of these next selections so those selections are dying in a winter wonderland this is the fifth book in the year-round christmas mystery series by vicki delaney slashing through the snow which is the third book in the christmas tree farm mystery series by jacqueline frost and A Caterer's Guide to Holidays and Homicide, which is the second book in the Caterer's Guide to Crime mystery series by Jessica Thompson. So Dying in a Winter Wonderland, I will be borrowing from my library through Libby. As far as I can tell, it is not available on Hoopla. Slashing Through the Snow, though, is available on Hoopla, so I will be borrowing a copy of that through Hoopla to read. And then A Caterer's Guide to Holidays and Homicide is available on Kindle Unlimited, so if you have a Kindle Unlimited subscription, it is available for you there. And yeah, so that will do it for this month's chapter by chapter. I look forward to reading with you again in December. Again, let me know your thoughts on Guidebook to Murder down in the comments below or in the Mystery Madness Goodreads group or our March Mystery Madness Discord. I'd love to talk to you about this selection. Also, let me know down in the comments below or on any of our other social media sites linked down in the description box below if you will be joining me in December for Mrs. Claus and the Santa Land Slings or Dying in a Winter Wonderland or Slashing Through the Snow or A Caterer's Guide to Holidays and Homicides. I am looking forward to a month full of Christmas cozy mysteries. It's always such a fun time of the year to read themed books and having a full slate of Christmas cozies ready to go I think is going to be a load of fun. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you'll be joining me in the month of December and that will do it for me this evening. So I hope you're all doing great. I hope you're all safe and healthy. And until next time, take care and smile always. Bye!